time for more Pizza Tower. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskull. Hello? Welcome to UDJ and the Niskull's Pizzeria! How can I help you today? Uh, oh uh, yeah, can I get, uh, can I get a small pep and, uh, you know, just a, just a liter of cola? A small pep and a liter of cola? Uh, we only have, uh, pizzas that have several ordinary sized peps on them and two liter colas or 20 ounce bottles. Okay, I'll take that. You know what, how about you just give me 20 bucks and you go away? Hey, that sounds cool. Do I get something in return? How about a pizza? Oh, they're, oh no, they're fighting. Uh, oh, please. Gentlemen, please! Please! This is not a place to be fighting! Is this my NPC? <laughs> uh, oh, it's Pepper Man! That's <laughs> Graffiti Pepper Man! Oh, yes, clearly, uh, Peppino is the true villain of this mm -hmm. story, yes. You can, yeah, well, I can parry any projectile. Are you telling me this game has perfect parries? Yeah. Nice. So here's the achievements. We gotta do Pepino's Rain Dance, which we'll get to. Unnecessary Violence. Oh, Jesus! Alien Cow. Avoid all the cows. Ooh, gotta, I like that level. Don't get, trust, don't get touched by John Ghost. Kill 20 enemies as a ghost. Surf every corpse. Oh, wow. Uh, kill three unreachable enemies in Fun Farm. Uh, find the Mort Cube. I've yeah. heard about this level. And and uh, don't hurt Mort. Uh, destroy every beer... Almost every beer bottle, because some can't be destroyed. Uh, press every button exactly only once. And get every card. Okay. And then beat the boss without getting hurt, and then your S's and your P's. There you go! We're so, ready. As we go for floor two, let's get going to our first level! You know what the backgrounds, the scrolling backgrounds kind of remind me of? What's that? Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, uh, you know, a little bit of that too. This is, <laughs> this is, this is Oregano Desert! <laughs> Yo! I, seriously! Pino has such great faces. I love it. It's clearly the the charm of this of this game. Oh, it kills me. So when they say Pepino's mock dance, they're a little unclear. And uh, when the first when the game first came out, it was a little unclear. What you gotta do is you gotta get to level three mock mock dance. I can't really try to do it here. Well, we'll find a we'll find a good place to mock do it here. dance. Oh, this might not be the best place to do it. Well, let's uh, hang on. Is it like? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get it somewhere else. But uh, you have, it says you have to reactivate one of these uh, totems that uh, summon these rain clouds by using Pepino's mock dance. I'll show off what that means later. Oh, but here we have Pizza Marts. Pizza Marts in this level are where you have your toppings, and there's also where you have your sausage clerks. That guy. You just killed a poor clerk. There are five Pizza Marts. There are five toppings. There are five sausage clerks. Take them all out, there's your other achievement. Is that how math works? This would be a good place to do it, I think. Get up to the oh, mock yeah, dash mock right speed. here, do a little bit of a drop down, and then, oh, here we go, just go back and forth, and that reactivates it. What? I didn't know you could reactivate those. That's, it, it, it took a while to figure out. Oh, okay. He's like, mock, mock dance? What the hell is a mock dance? What the dance? hell does that mean? Is, is it like some uh, some power-up you get? Is it some uh, hidden secret mechanic that we don't know about? Yeah, seriously. But, nope, it was, just, it was just basically do that. There's oh, your first secret, yeah. but you got to make sure that you run up it correctly. These trip me up a little yeah. bit. Oh, when I, what? Oh, oh, God. Yeah, this tripped me up a little bit, because oh. if you break one block, the rest of them break, and so you need to there we go. make sure you nail it the first try. This one's all about breaking blocks. Yeah. They're looking for an S rank. This one could make or break you, because you could just totally miss. The totally guy do like that, I, yeah. Like I fucking did. Why are you right there? Why can't you be at the end like all the normal ones? Why gotta be right there, man? Enjoy your lack of S rank, loser. Like, why, why couldn't you be right here? Why? Why? I honestly thought they put a bottomless pit down there. <laughs> do you want points or do you want to actually not die? Killing me is is uh, better than taking Aww. away my bonuses like that. This one hurts. Mm. I've done that many a time. That's okay, though. This is probably the stage I played the most because I couldn't find the third secret. I eventually did, but man, it's kind of rough to find. Yeah, it, it is kind of rough. Yes! It's, it's, yeah. it, it's inside of Pizza Mart, and we're here at the uh, Power Up Du Jour. I love it! Pepino has wings so hot that he is in a constant state of fire. I, now, Wario, <laughs> Wario Land has had fire states like that. Definitely, yeah. But I love this one a lot more because you feel like, it feels like you're in more in control. What the hell? Yeah, it's a power bomb. I love it. I, I don't think I've ever done a power bomb. I think it's if you grab, uh, grab something in the air. That's um, and, I, and I love that uh, you can be you can be healed by the by the church of too many Scovels. The church of pizza, of course. 
too many evil Scovels. Yeah, give me the hot stuff. <laughs> Maybe it's the communion wine that uh, cools down the fire. Oh, possibly. Oh my god, I love it. All right, so Jerome is up here. I'm gonna go with my yeah. Here. Okay, yeah, that one took me a while too. I love it. Oh, and he's got like a a drill kick now. Dives on top of fools. Yeah, there we go. Whee! I just love the way he spins. It's just yeah. And you're totally right when when it comes to control. Feels good. And I think the animation really kind of it complements that. It's it just just the momentum in all of his movements, and the way he spins, and the way he falls, yes. and the way he just lands like that, the way his body shapes when that happens. Like, it feels almost like Tom and Jerry in that respect, in the way that, you know, uh, their bodies shape and morph to the violent acts on screen. This reminds me so much of Earthworm Jim. Yeah. Just because of the cows. Yummy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a guy who likes a spice. What's the hottest you've ever had? Okay, so, uh, I, I am a guy who likes my spice, but let's put a lid on that, okay? Okay. That doesn't mean that I love, you know, the uh, I, hottest I know, guy. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, like, torture you with, with ghost pepper sauce. I mean, I, I know you like spicy food. Habanero is about the hottest I can go. That's a good heat. That's, that's about, uh, that, that's about the point where you start trading heat for flavor, mm -hmm. and I, and that's just, what, what's the point? If I, if I wanted to hurt, I just, <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to just hurt, I just keep on existing, but. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! ah, you gotta get the jump just right. Oh, uh, one thing. So, so, uh, uh, my, uh, my parents at the time, uh, went to a place called Pepper Palace. Ooh. And they got me, uh, a, a, a thing of salsa ah! that is literally called the world's hottest salsa. Uh. And they were right. Oh. It burned for at least, like, 20 minutes. There was no relief. None. Yikes. And that told me that day, it's like, you know what, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of a lid on this pepper thing, you know, mm -hmm. to, like, uh, putting Tabasco on almost all my food, that's, that's one thing. Yeah. Eating raw ghost peppers and those California Reaper bullshit. No. Take the one chip challenge. Uh, no. Nah, I'm not good. paying seven bucks for one chip that I'll hate and get hurt on. Uh, cows can interrupt basically everything. If you get kicked, you lose your speed. You can also lose your firepower, if that's correct. You, yes, there is a Pizza Mart later on where you have to uh, yeah, get fire, keep it, and avoid all the cows. Similarly, there's one where you have to not get fire. Also, the brilliant idea of having UFOs when we introduce the cows is fantastic. You realize they're olives, right? What? They're, the little aliens are olives. Oh. So the UFO is still a UFO, it's just we're the, dealing with olives. The aliens are olives. I love it! I, n and no, I didn't notice that. Just, hey, John Gutter. See, there he is. What's up? Uh, I probably could have got that, but hey, here's, yeah. here's John Gutter. Now let's get out of here! And this is why I kept missing the secret. I believe it's up there, but I first, I gotta it's, get this. It's the next one. Oh, it's the next one? Yes. Okay. This is the... Ah! Ah! <laughs> this, is the one where you, this is the one where you have to not get hit by the wings. Oh, okay. Because you gotta climb ladders and run into stuff and all, mm -hmm. and all that and... Oh, damn it. Ah! Yeah, now you gotta get kicked by a cow. Yeah, UDJ. You, you can you can deal with a ghost pepper, you just gotta get kicked by a cow. You, you know, I knew that, that was, that's what I was missing. I thought it was milk, but I was looking at the wrong end. Skill issue! <laughs> Ooh, wait, I missed it. Oh, oh, oh. Back there, back yeah, there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we up here. There we go. What's he getting this time? What are we adding to the menu? We got beans. Oh, thank you. We got beans. 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 Who put beans on pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it were, oh, 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 okay. Maybe it's Mexican pizza. Oh, oh this is yeah, a chain yeah, reaction yeah, yeah. and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, go, go. <laughs> I've, I've watched a video about uh, reviewing different pizzas from around the world, and the one guy just just started seeing. Oh, I was like, oh, canned corn on pizza. He's like, you guys are clowning me. <laughs> yeah. right, here's the last one. This is the one that has the secret in there, that dirty rotten secret. There's a secret in here. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Uh, it's been a while. Sorry. Kill that one. There's all, right. all the clerks taken go. care of. 
There, there it is. Yep, it's right up there. Okay. But we gotta get rid of that rat first. Right, there's a rat behind it. Yep, yep. Eh? yep. There. Cool. That and now... Again, take a run and boosh! Excellent, excellent. Now get kicked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't get kicked. I thought getting kicked was the reason. No, <laughs> we're avoiding the yes. cow. Avoid, Avoid the cow. Yay! <laughs> Avoid the cow, yes. Go for a super jump. And boosh! <laughs> hey, all right, here we go. Woo! Ooh, I like the instant mock speed. Lovely. Nice. Now get out of here. Let's get out of here. We only got uh, a minute and a half. Bye, Pope. There's a little secret thing you can guess. Oh shit. <laughs> come on, come on. Give me the fire, huh? Give me the fucking wings already! <laughs> the twirls look like he's in actual pain. <laughs> and all of that was for points. Just, just for points. <laughs> oh no! No, I no, no! Oh god, I need to go back to the cows! Give me a cow! Give uh. <laughs> me a cow! You wanna have a cow, man? I need one! <laughs> it takes away the heat, but I need it! <laughs> oh, that. I, I think my favorite expression is uh, when you're going off a Ooh. cliff at mock speed and Pepina looks down. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, dear. Am I gonna fall or am I gonna. Uh, speaking of falling, what's up with that time there, buddy? Well, I had to go into Pizza Marts and do all that extra stuff. Pizza Face is almost awake. He's, it's okay, don't worry uh -oh. about it. Uh-oh. Just, take, just taking my time here and being a little leisurely, all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. See, no problems. Bam, none, bam, none, bam. none, 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 no Aww. problems at all. Yeah, all right! The Toppins do dances, too. I love it. Very nice! Okay, so we did Pepino's Rain Dance, we did Unnecessary Violence, now we gotta do a No Cow Hit Run, which is easier than it sounds. How no, no, it's harder than it looks. How the hell do you do that? Carefully. Very, very carefully. Allow me to show you how carefully. I could have sworn some of the platforming relied on the cows. Yeah. Apparently not. You gotta find <laughs> a way around them, that's the thing. Interesting. Okay. See, uh, this game's teaching me that if, if the game demands it, you gotta do it. There's no there's no compromise. Do you know how fun it would be to come up with challenges for your new up and coming game from oh, Torta Pizza? I bet that's one of the that's one of the best parts. Oh, I know. Just thinking, like, what can I have the player do that could be fun but also challenging? What I like is that they actually had an entire build of the game, like. I guess they went quiet for like about a year, year and a half, mm -hmm. and they said, yeah, sorry, we were just busy redesigning all the levels, basically. Oh, no. There's like tons of cut content for this. Well, I mean, cut, it's just old. Like, there was like there was supposed to be an entire uh, co-op gameplay, which they're allegedly working on. You know, I, you know. Double <laughs> Pepino. Oh, my God. I'm not saying uh, what uh, what's in store, but I got a feeling that... Uh, you're gonna get a, a good deal, you know, forty percent off on your next pizza deal. Uh, it, yeah, ah. Next time, next time you order, if you know what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm saying either like DLC or follow-ups or whatever. Oh my God! Can you imagine just adding like even one extra floor to the pizza tower, and having that be a part of the uh, the overall story? Like, I know we haven't met any of the other bosses, but I've I've always cons like thought of what enemies could we add. That are still pizza themed. That could be funny. Well, I want to dissuade people to think that uh, people who think that this game is short. You see how many hours I have on it so far? Uh, probably about twenty. Thirty-six. Woo! Thirty-six hours playing this game. The only reason I say it's on the short side is mainly because of the different levels. Yeah, it, it feels short. It feels because you know it's like oh, it's only five floors, only nineteen levels or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's. You, you get a lot of bang for your buck. They like, they crammed a lot into those levels. Yeah, I'm definitely not... You're not getting screwed over with the cost here. No. Like, $20 for an amazing experience? Hell yes. People talk about value anyway. It's like, I want a game that's 60 hours long, and those feel like fucking interminable to me. They do feel like work. <laughs> I'll give it that. Last game that took me like over 60 hours was Spider-Man, and even that, 100%ing that game, well, a little bit of work. Meanwhile, I... I uh, Gladly, happily clocked in like 80 hours in the Persona 5 Royal. Well, that's easy. That's just a playthrough. That was a game that had 80 <laughs> hours to, to talk about. It it has... Uh, some might say way too much. 
could I do 80 hours of Pizza Tower? Sure. But I couldn't do 80 hours of Pizza Tower for one playthrough. Oh, God, no. This is a game that's like Wario Land 3. This is a game that you come back to. This is a game that you replay. It's like, you know, Pizza Tower's fun. I'm going to give it another playthrough like you do on the Nintendo Switch Online stuff. I do enjoy that Steam keeps track of how long... Oh, and the Switch, too. Uh, keeps track of how long you've been playing this some This tricky. Games. You gotta go to that one. Yeah, Don't you gotta... On that one. Hi, John Gutter. See all right, show me. All right, here, here's what you do. You're going cowless. Okay, so you gotta run here. You, you gotta go very carefully. Jump over this cow, and you're home free. Are you, are you kidding me? That's it. That was it. Yep. We're not, we're not, out, we're, we're not home free yet. Cause now we got this part. Oh right. Do that part. I'll admit, I love the chain reactions this, with the cows. That, that. But trying to get out of here without getting kicked is, is it's, it's pretty hard. <laughs> See, that's that's a challenge run I can I can enjoy though. It's mm -hmm. like and it's like you get something for it. The game adds another percentage to your uh, overall percentage. Nisco, why did you snap your controller in half? Fucking cow! <laughs> what did you call him? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I'm not insulting anybody online. No, don't ground me. And this one's pretty easy. Yeah, you're home free. You yeah, that's it. yeah, that's good. That's easy. Could it, I could do a lap too, but I'd rather not. That's <laughs> uh, okay. Accidentally okay. run into the last cow, son. You, of you a know, gun. I'm I'm not feeling it. We got another stage to do anyway, but uh, that's a no. That's a no cow hit run. Boo! That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, you ever played Night in the Woods? Uh, you showed it to me the one it's, time. It's a it's, it's uh, one of my one of, one of my favorite games, but uh, it's. It's 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 really good. They have something called the pizza scale. Oh right, you were telling me about this. So the pizza scale basically grades what kind of pizza you have at places. This is our next stage, by the way. Oh, waste. I love this level. This is waste yard. Poor Pepin, though. Oh no, he's dead. And it's basically uh, it's a scale of one to ten. Uh, a, a pizza ranked one is basically inedible. Kind of like that dollar microwave pizza. No, I'm talking like a uh, toilet stall pizza. Oh, that's a one out of ten pizza. Oh, there's hope for you yet, uh, Tostinos. So, so that's an edible. Ten out of ten pizza is pizza that's way too fancy. I'm talking like your California pizza kitchens and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, just you know, way too fancy pizza. Hoity toity pizza. Ho Hoity toity pizza. That's a ten out of ten pizza. That's near an edible. And everything ranked nine, uh, two from nine. Just has good as hell. <laughs> you know what? That's fact. <laughs> That's fact. I'm, it's it's. I mean, I mean, even what you thought was a one out of ten pizza was just dollar store pizza. No, man. That's like that's like almost that, a three. <laughs> That's edible. That's edible. <laughs> That's good as hell. <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm just visualizing bougie pizza, and I, I kind of hate it. <laughs> Because I've seen a bougie pizza. Uh -huh. It's it's the fucking worst. This is why I like this level. It, we, where are our ghosts? You can go through a cheese grater, which is nice. I love that Pepino actually dies, and the only way he can be saved is by being absolved. Well, there the priest uh, makes a bit more sense. See, I, the priest is a catch-all for some reason, and it kind of works. He's, he's a recognizable figure. It's like, oh, get to the priest, get to the priest! You know, compared to get to the, the background thing that looks like a thing, but isn't the yeah. thing. Ah! You just got decked in the face by by young gutters. I think I think they're young Johns actually. Young <laughs> little Johns. Probably parry those things. But... <laughs> All right, uh, achievements. We have ghosted, which we'll get to when we get to the escape part. Mm. We have pretend ghost, which means kill twenty things as a ghost. And we Ooh. have we have alive and well, which is. Corpse surfing on all ten corpses in this level. Oh, I love it. The corpse surfing is awesome. But that's an easy thing. That's an easy one to do. Oh, yeah. You know, I actually got the uh, the ghosted bot on accident the first time playing through this. You go to the second secret. It's basically guaranteed to get. Mm -hmm. Make sure you kill everything. Even these things, too. I don't know if they count, but hey, for good measure. The ghost section, I really enjoy... Uh, especially when you get the peppers, you go faster as a ghost. Yep, and that's how you uh, get enough strength to take out enemies and yeah. take out certain blocks. It's cool! It's it's a great mechanic, and it really shows its Wario, uh, Wario Land 4 influence on its sleeve, which is one of the tightest games I've ever played. Keep, I... the, keep these guys alive if you want that achievement, though, so you can kill them as a ghost when you get the power to kill them later. Oh, okay. Should be when you get this pepper right here, and then boosh, boosh, two more. 
You know, I really need to actually dive into Wario Land 4. I've got it on my Wii U, and I I just want to play it one of these days. I need to play all the Wario games, come to think of it. It is, it is one of the best, I mean. Skadoosh. I mean, it's not as, not as bombastic, and, and, and you think, yeah, it looks lame, but then you start playing it, and you realize that it's it's really tightly designed. It's some of the best tightly designed levels, I've, I've, probably on the entire console. I kind of miss the GB era. Not everything I miss from the GB era, but I do miss some of it. I'm talking Wii U, but hey, you're right, GBA too. Well, Wario Land 4. Three peppers, get that, all right. The determination on Ghost Pepino's face. I must go! I must go away! Break through the walls! Capitalism and death beams will not make a fool of me! I still love the fact that your debt collector follows you into the pizza tower, <laughs> knowing that you're going to not only rob this this joint blind, but you might actually get some bomb-ass pizza out of the deal. Yeah, that make, makes sense. Oh, here we go. Hey! Whoop, whoop. This is the secret that took me forever to find. It's an ice cream! With a little face. Yeah, hey, a little soft serve never hurt anybody. That'd be, a, that'd, be a good, that'd be a good thing. Delicious. Yeah, I like that. Get over here. <laughs> The little meatball guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get over here. Yeah. Here. There. Oh. oh, we died. It's pizza time. We right, should be getting that uh, ghost achievement here <laughs> soon. Pretty soon. Almost at 20. Make sure you kill these guys and don't miss a single one. Not there yet, I guess. And here's where we get into the other achievement. As soon as you make it through here. Yep. This is the John Ghost. Make sure to not get hit by him, because if you get hit by him, he makes you start the room over again, which is annoying, because it, sucks. It, it, it makes you lose some time. If you can get, uh, clear the whole thing without getting hit by him, that's an achievement. There's your third secret, where it's basically run away from him! Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Just run, just run. He, he does oh, rubber oh, no. band slightly. A, a, a little bit so he doesn't fall too far behind, but uh, he goes about the same pace you're going, though, so if you just keep moving, you'll be fine. And make sure you don't run into him and you're going backwards. Oh, God, go, go! Oh, shit! Yeah! No, 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 no! Still good, still right. good, still good, still rocking it! <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Ah. <laughs> ah. Alright, time to ride some corpses. Ah. Got a couple more left to go! <laughs> he actually scared me that good! Yeah. Yeah. He also doesn't have that big of a hitbox, so he you can hit him like in the tail, just not any higher than that. He's got a small hip. He's got a small hitbox. You got a small hitbox. Woo! That works out. The, this one's this one's tough. The, this one's ooh, tight. Ooh. Oh, I love this. Oh jeez. Oh, that one's tight too. <laughs> There's another really tight spot at the end here. Oh jeez. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, go, 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 go. Oh yeah, this part. Ooh. This part got me a couple times Ooh, after redoing the stage a couple times. Go, come on. You almost have to like kite come him on, a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This would be a good time. Bam and oh, there right, you go. Got it. Okay, forget the time. Yeah, screw All it. All right, just go, just go, just go, just go. This, this, this right here. You gotta go up here to get the last one and come back around. Just, Ooh. just gotta kite him. You're good. Ride. All right, here's your last corpses. Ride. That one. Ride. That one. That's all of them. Do I hear a three and one deal? Not only do you hear a three and one. Oh, oops. Uh, oops. <clears throat> not only do. You, oops. Not only do you hear a three and one deal. You know what this also is? No way. Way. No way. Way, man. First try. Uh. <laughs> that's good shit. Ah, uh, that's a that's that's a nice, well cooked pizza. That, that's very nice. That's a pizza that's got a bit of the char underneath, and it's got the cornmeal to keep it from sticking to the pan, and the cheese just melted just right, and the sauce is good and tangy, and you feel the the spices and the heat and good the oh, pizza. Oh, they got red pepper flakes on top. That's good too. Mm, all right. To rent a boss gate, I just realized that wording. Just in case. Well, I guess we might as well uh, unlock the door. We got the cash. Now see why not. He's gonna keep bothering me about it otherwise, so there you go. Capitalism. It'll take a while before we get to him, but, uh... <laughs> That's my face when the pizza isn't hot and ready. <laughs> oh, guys, come on. When are you guys gonna stop fighting? I mean, when are you gonna get along? Come on. How about, well, we, how about we dance? Yeah, let's dance instead of fight. Yeah. Next time on Pizza Tower, two more stages. See you then.